Many components, especially those used in the automotive and aerospace industries, need to be completely machined or profiled all the way round and through. They can be held down with clamps, but that entails additional settings and machining only half the component at a time. Instead, double-sided tape or a vacuum plate with rubber seals is used, which is still less than ideal because it entails long and laborious laying up. But the real problem occurs when the component needs to be profiled and machined right through. The vacuum is immediately lost. To overcome this, the somewhat dangerous breakout technique is used. To maintain vacuum, a thin section of material is left at the bottom of the cut, requiring the piece to be broken out, deburred and finished by hand. But now it's possible to eliminate all these problems and completely profile and finish such components in one easy step dispensing with clamps, rubber seals and double-sided tape and without resorting to breakout techniques. The vac mat is a plastic mat consisting of an array of suckers on the top side each with a lipped edge and a small hole 0.25 mm or 10 thou through the center. On the underside six locating lugs enable the mat to be positioned on the vacuum plate the vacuum being distributed through a grid of grooves which connect the tiny holes. The mat is laid onto the vacuum table ensuring the lugs locate into the holes. The vacuum is then applied and the mat is pulled into position and secured by its lipped edge. The vacuum is now released to enable the component to be positioned. When the vacuum has been reapplied the component is securely held and can only be moved by releasing the vacuum. Locating pins can also be used to position the component. Components with relatively little surface area can be held effectively. Even badly warped components can be securely held flat for machining. And then released. To demonstrate the action of the lipped edge suckers, a plate of glass is placed over the vac mat. When the vacuum is applied, the lips deflect outwardly, pulling down the component, or in this case a plate of glass. When the vacuum supply is removed, the lips reform. The vac mat's unique design enables components to be machined through without losing vacuum hold down. No other system offers this. Its performance is also unaffected by swarf or coolant. The vacuum gauge shows 0.85 bar or 12 psi. In the application demonstrated, the pump enables more than 50% of the vac mat to be open to atmosphere. The vacuum is always monitored and can be interlocked with the machine control, therefore being completely safe in use. The vac mat user manual gives all the information needed. The mat is a throwaway item which can only be used once and is environmentally friendly, being made of recyclable plastic. When it's been machined into and the skin has been broken, it must be replaced. The vac mat is equally capable of holding heavier components. Mats without holes are available to blank off large areas of the plate that are not being used. These mats are coloured black to avoid confusion.
The parallelism of the back mat is guaranteed to plus or minus 0 0.02 millimeter, or eight tenths of a thou. The back mat here is undergoing inspection. Mats of varying density are available to suit specific applications, which can be discussed with our engineers. Vacuum plates can be supplied in various modular configurations and are made under license in different countries around the world. Specially designed plates are also available. Aviation Tool, based in Hounslow, is a subcontractor to the aviation industry and produces a variety of components which are particularly suited to the VACMAT work holding system. In this machining operation, an aileron wing section has its thickness reduced from 60 thou sheet to 25 thou, or from 1.5 mil to half a mil. By using the vac mat, significant cost savings have been achieved, not only in component layup time, but also by changing the method of metal removal. These components had previously been chemically machined, with all its associated environmental hazards and costs. The chemical etching proved to be very expensive, but by bringing the job in-house, the customer made a considerable cost saving. Other jobs were carried out on back mats, which soon proved to be very versatile. In the past, they were changing vacuum plates with every job. Now, they simply replaced the back mats. Back mat, winner of the 1994 Metalworking Production Award.